Okay, this is James P. Madonna from the Facebook group uh, Holistic Health Talk. I'm here looking at the um, um, Bob's Red Mill cereals, and the problem I have is that very few of them, very few of them are certified organic, which I don't understand. This is a family. Uh, I'm sorry, it says an employee-owned company, it's usually, I, I would say the company started off in health food stores, but, but if it, since it started off in health food stores, why aren't all of them, or most of them, certified organic and non-GMO? When I contact the corporation, the main office, they, they don't reply to me, which is typical of uh, corporate America. You don't get a reply. Okay, again, Scottish oatmeal, all right. It's not organic. Wonderful. Oat bran, not organic. Cream, creamy wheat, so hot cereal, not organic. Five grain, nothing. All right, here we got organic brown rice. That's one. All right, but that's only one. All right, four ninety nine. Uh, I think people will be willing to pay a little more for the best for non-GMO certified organic. Here we go, corn grits, also known as polenta, not organic. All right. I want to give a shout out to the creator himself, Mario Petrus. I'm really pissed off that this company. I would say most of the Bob's Red Mill products are not certified organic. Here we got this, uh, or here we go. All right, this one's organic. All right, so, so far I found two. All right, award winning. All right, that's the least they can do if it's award winning steel cut oatmeal is to have it certified organic but most of the products are not oh. now I think people will be willing to pay a little bit more for non-GMO certified organic but this company never replies to me just like most companies I hope the people in the store don't think I'm talking to myself <laughs> Um, it's, it's a method to my madness. <laughs> uh, you would think that a company like Bob's Red Mill would be 100% organic, but eh, joke is on me. And that's about it. Okay. Well, 